Everyone and welcome to game number three in our best of five series between Cubit32 and Game Slayer. Game number two, going to Game Slayer with quite a bold move into an off-world market with an adrenaline boost that, well, saved his life in a game that looked like he might have just been tossed out of it very, very quickly. So, nice bold move out of Game Slayer there. This game, there's a lot mm. of carbon here yeah. in this one spot. Oh, yep, wow. Was, whoa. That I'm nervous Why about. Why would you found there? That's... I guess... I guess there's room. And... What? Wow, I don't know about either of these founds. That is an interesting expansive found. Certainly. Why wouldn't you go for the other high, high iron? There's... It's got aluminum right nearby. It's got water. It's got some geotherms nearby. It's even by dry ice. I don't... I don't get that. I couldn't one tell thing, you. I just don't know. I guess it's a little farther from... I think the other location is just strictly better for expansive. So I think that's a, a, a definitely a misfound by Game Slayer. I think so. And Cubit, of course, is stuck in a crater. Yeah. Which I'm not really sure. I guess he wanted the he About. wanted to squash the car and he wanted yeah, the free carbon. I mean, that's what it was. He wanted free carbon. Now carbon Which, costs nine dollars and he has yeah. two tiles and carbon. He, he has room for basically two triangles inside of that crater. Um, that could hurt him long term. We'll see. I mean, it may be enough. There are no EMPs this game. Mm -hmm. just, there are power surges, so that's something he's going to have to watch out for, of course. Man, this is an interesting, like, awful black market, actually, in my opinion. Cook the book, spy, magnetic storm, power surge, circuit overload, network virus, dynamite goon squad. Um, another thing I should add, I guess neither of these players might know this, <laughs> so I'll mention it, but uh, this was actually a suggestion by Cubit. Network Virus will now buy resources from your debt if you don't have the money for it. Oh, interesting. Well, it does say that on the tooltip now, at least. Well, so. Okay, there you go. They got no excuse. <laughs> well, I mean, how often do you read the tooltips in this game? <laughs> Let's be honest. Oh, I like this out of Game Slayer. It's a little bit. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use that. That word bold again. But five steel mills. Just wow. what he does with his HQ level two. I mean, he's playing catch up right now. Sure. No doubt about that. Well, at least he knows the other guy won't be killing it. Interesting that uh, Cubits. Wow. He forgoes the triangle to keep the reactors away from his base, so that he wants to. Be, he wants to take on the debt and sell the uh, fuel and oxygen all at once. Yep. Wow, Very is much. Is that worth it for not getting the triangle? That's I mean, when you have a lead like he's this, not, he's probably not going to die to debt anytime he's soon. Already, he's already $53,000 in debt. I guess he is in a... Well, <laughs> it's irrelevant now, anyway. Oh, that's a good move. That's a good move. No goon squads have been bought, so that was a totally safe play. Great play by Game Slayer. It is going to delay his next upgrade. Now... Yeah. And I think hitting hitting his steel is who cares? He's got two sets of steel. He's overproducing steel anyway. You know. I mean, I care if I'm Game Slayer because that's still slowing down the upgrade. Yeah, you know, it's just it's just not that big of a deal. I guess compared, compared to, to hitting those reactors. I think actually the biggest thing about it is the fact that Game Slayer is not pulling in enough iron to cover his steel. Yeah. And yeah. so even though his steel is getting hit, like long term it's maybe not as big a deal because he's not going to end up with this massive he, iron stockpile. He made a bigger mistake not putting some of his steel mills on iron. He doesn't have any ability to transition from steel back to iron if the price gets out of position. I, I suppose that's, it that's kept his stuff me. spread out against the power surge. Yeah but you know two clumps is fine I think. Like going for three clumps I think it's overkill. I think I, I mean I kind of agree that maybe you were correct there. It's just you know devil's yep. advocate and all that. Yeah he's getting he, okay he's getting another metal mine up. Um, some water coming down. These are no real big surprises out of the yeah, players. They're gonna need more. I like the cubit has so much is a giant stockpile of water. That's gonna come in handy with a. He should buy up more water. The price of water water is going to be valuable this game, for sure. With an expansive and a scavenger player, mm -hmm. and it's only nine dollars. Some players should buy as much water as they can and just sit on it. Yeah, Cubit, once his stuff is unfrozen, will be consuming more water than he's bringing in, even with those two tiles he's got already. So, yeah. ooh, glass, glass shortage. shortage. Well, no one's really... Does anyone even have silicon yet? Wow, uh, Cubit does. Okay, well, that's good for him then. Um, although, boy, he sure has a lot of silicon. 
question is, where is he going to put his glass for this? <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, he's got the upgrade. Maybe he'll just ship out to a glass furnace if he needs to. Gonna go for solar panels, not really surprised by that at all. There's gonna be pretty strong solar panels too, although the yeah, solar flare no, will not be lasting no, all no. that long once they're constructed. Yeah. And Cubit already in sea levels of debt. I really wouldn't mind out of Game Slayer a power surge onto these reactors. Oh, oh, but it I, runs I, I into the it. Goon Squad. Yep. That's well unfortunate. Placed, well placed Goon Squad by Goon Squad by Cubit. Yeah. He prioritized the reactors the way I would have. Just didn't quite manage to get it there, unfortunately, for Game Slayer. Nice for Cubit, though, because that saves him from that potential D yeah. level of debt he was going to be he looking at when interested. He should have triggered, he should have gone for the solar panels, which were less likely to be protected since they were newer. Yeah. And are making actually a lot more money than the uh, reactors. Um, well, paying off a lot of debt. Yeah. Well, which is, but that's important. It is important. It is important. It's, it's. Oh, it's really? Funny. That's how we're going to be right now, game? Oh, man. All right, sure. I'll bet Cubit's a little upset that he just scrapped those solar panels, but no, he, he is going to be, be making some money. Yeah, he should be happy. He should be fine, yeah. Game Slayer is the one who <laughs> is probably not too happy about this. Interesting. Expansive colony expansive. Looks like Cubit has stopped auto selling power, actually. Wow. So the solar flare isn't going to be tanking this power price anytime soon, which is... Uh, is he still doing that? I don't see that. Yeah, yeah he's well, he's not auto-selling. I mean, just look at Qubit and be oh. like, hey, you're not selling anything. I guess maybe it doesn't show us the... the I mean, if you scroll <laughs> over, you can see the lock as well and such, and it's just like... <laughs> but yeah, the important part is the no quantity is being sold. All right, extra claim for Game Slayer, it looks like. Eight. Oh, almost. Didn't quite get there. Both players, it looks like, just taking the opportunity with this claim auction to kind of look around the map. Game Slayer lets it go for 12. That felt just a bit on the cheap side to me. Could have maybe pushed to 14, but he was already in quite a bit of debt, so maybe just a bit scared of that, especially because... He, it does not look like he has any interest in moving into additional power immediately. Oh, we're going to have a solar panel come down. Maybe two? Not two solar panels? You can do it, Game Slayer, I believe. Ooh, here comes an upgrade lab. Oh. Cubit's the guy who, who will go for patent labs and upgrade labs in two-player games. Certainly. So, interesting to see how this plays out. I mean, it's still early enough. I can see it's going to be a good move. By the way, look at that electronics price. Just keeps going up and up and up. More importantly, look at these fancy laboratories that we get to see once again. It's not more important. I just get distracted by shiny things. <laughs> Scavenger level 5 for Cubit. So he's managed to push to an upgrade lab and get to HQ level 5. Offworlds are actually looking really strong in this game, it should be pointed out. Wow, yeah, it's not bad. Now, there are some pretty good tools on the black market for knocking down an off-world. You don't got mutinies, but with dynamite, network viruses, spies, and circuit overloads, that off-world market is going to be staying down for a real long time if anyone chooses to go after it. Oh, I like, I like uh, <laughs> Game Slayer carbon. grabbing that carbon and just the random tile. I'm surprised he didn't do that earlier. Man, that really messes with Cupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so awkward. The oh, thing man. is, the, the awkward thing about that is, like, do you really want to power surge your own stuff? Eh. <laughs> eh. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, I, there's just there's too many goon squads there. I mean, as it is now, anyway, to do power surge. But oh, f <laughs> oh, he should. Are there? I guess. I, mean, I guess the game. I don't know if the game actually lets you start the power surge on your own tile. I guess he didn't know that goon squad was there, probably because it is a bit of a weird goon squad in a lot of ways, but a well placed one. Yeah, worked out for him. Yeah, Game Slayer was not expecting that. Oh, and he gets himself power surged. Of course, worst possible result for Qubit out of that power surge. That's not what he was looking for on that coin flip. All right, fuel shorting out. Qubit's ready for that. And Game Slayer is not with this electrolysis freeze, so. No, using that, it's, it's uh, well, 
an advantage we don't talk about much, but scavengers find out about it early. He heard about it. That's you see it in the uh, the messages. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, the alert. That's the thing that only the scavenger player gets. I mean, it can be a big advantage if you have the money to use it. Certainly. Wow, carbon scrubbing with the price of electronics. This could be a very valuable pet. Yeah, but with the price of carbon, it's like it's eh. gonna, it's going to be flopping around. It's a little low right now, but I think it's because someone sold out of it. I wouldn't have done that if I was Game Slayer. Go for Did the twelve. You buy it for twelve thousand? I I like that. I think that's good. I don't because he now he's in D levels of debt, and that's just awkward. Yeah, the but which, he needs to get rid of his glass furnaces anyway. Switch them over to electronics. That's true. That needed to happen a while ago. And he better do it now that he took carbon scrubbing. I mean, if you're not going to do that the instant you take carbon scrubbing, what was the point of having carbon scrubbing, quite frankly? Right. The awkward part is, like, he also needs iron right now if he wants to keep up this steel production. Because you see that iron price. It's just getting yeah. pretty insane. And it's quite possible. I'm pretty sure that iron mines would actually be more valuable than electronics factories right now. So I really don't like this. This yeah. move out of game. Sorry, I would have needed to see one more iron mine, yeah. maybe. Yeah, he should have deleted his steel mills and put those steel mills where his react factories are, put down a second metal mine, and yeah, drop down four electronics factories where his chemical labs are going up. Oof, he keeps changing his mind. He sees what we're talking about, I suppose. Okay, now they're electronic. Yep, that's what I wanted to see. Uh, I guess he could probably overproduce electronics for a while. That'd probably be alright. That is a lot of electronics, though. I mean, and electronics. Well, take, take the money while you can. The, the buildings are all making well over 100. It's true. But we're not Make seeing a lot of pressure on electro. I mean, there is the colony. The colony. I mean, take the money while you can. Um, they're the most valuable buildings on the board right now, those electronics factories. Uh, yeah, I guess they are. Just barely. No, they're about even with these reactors. All right, everybody making sure to secure plenty of stock. It is worth noting that Qubit is moving into improved electronics production. He's already got improved. He's headed toward, I believe, ed efficient? Yep. And so that's going to counteract the uh, carbon carbon scrubbing bonus that uh, that uh, Game Slayer has. Of course, at, at this well, point, I, mean, I think, I think Cubit just doesn't, doesn't mind just selling carbon as, as soon as it comes in. Yeah. Um, he doesn't have to worry about it because of that yeah. carbon scrubbing. Keep the price low, and if he keeps it low, then that means if he ever wants to go in an off-world market, he can. It's kind of like giving himself almost like a bank credit somewhere. Speaking of... We've got that off-world market coming online from Game Slayer. No real big surprise there. He is the one to make that kind of move. Yep. And on top of that, he's going to be real nervous this game because, like, as things stood, Qubit had the advantage long term. That upgrade lab will do so much work for you over the course yep. of the game. The black market is online. So that is something Game Slayer needed to be nervous about. I'm a little nervous about this food still being online for Game Slayer. Like, Kim Labs are a rather definite option right now. No. Well, we haven't seen just yet nanotech. Game Slayer wants this. Network viruses starting to be thrown down by yeah. Qubit. It's going to be hard to keep your. It's just going to be hard to keep that off-world protect, uh, protected. We'll Abs I mean, it's going to be impossible to keep that off-world protected. Let's be realistic about it. It's just not going to happen unless Qubit's down in that D level of debt. But at least there are no mutinies, and with, which is really like the worst case scenario. For it's true, there are no mutinies. That would be that would be ridiculously painful. And you do have to admit, Cubit's only staying in C levels right now because of Cook the Books. I think that's why Game Slayer is also in B levels. But yeah. once sure. again, playing a pretty massive role this game. All right, let's squad this back up. And Dynamite's only three thousand. That's that is. A big problem. Surprised, just disappointed because the price of Goon Squad is going to go up a lot faster than the price of Dynamite. Game Slayer needs one more Goon Squad, and he's about two seconds off with his black market cooldown right now. So that could be pretty scary for him. He's going to have to just hope that Cubit isn't quite on the ball enough to stay with things. And Cubit. Oh man, that interest tick. That's going to wreck both players. Cubit actually go. in significantly more debt than Game Slayer. Oh! He got it in nope. the two second window. Very good. Oh, that hurts. Well, and then this happens. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's fair enough. And that hurts more, I have, I have to think, because Cubit, I mean, yeah, he can sell down carbon once the price is high, but he's going to have to work to get that money back, whereas Game Slayer kind of can ignore steel. Oh, Game Slayer, Game Slayer grabbed that claim back. You see what he did? Yeah, he took it back now. Just there's this no, late in the no game. Bribe. Yeah, there's no bribe claim on the market. 
So, you know, Cuba can't really get that tile. That's awesome. I love that move. All right. Well, Freeze is going to keep that off world down for a while. I don't think Game Slayer will quite be able to return the favor. It's it's going to be really narrow. He might be able to pull it off. Yeah, he should be able to pull it off. Cuba didn't start the repair right away. So I'm hoping we're going to see a power surge onto that off-world market. Cube, uh, Game Slayer knows for a fact that it's not defended. Yep. And so we should just see the same thing returned back to Cubit. Well, it could be pretended here. right now. He just grabbed oh, Goose. There it goes. Got it. There, got was, it. Like a three, yeah, there no, was like a three-second difference in their cooldown. Now he knows it is defended, so instead it'll be that network virus. But yep. that off-world, I don't think, will quite get a launch off unless it gets defended again if Game Slayer is fast enough. <laughs> it's one three. second. Keep it just three network viruses. Keeping, well, keeping uh, Game Slayer just might as well not even try to goon his off world. I mean, what's the point? Yeah, at this stage, it's like, yeah, it costs 16,000, but it does, well, it does basically nothing. And the other thing is, his opponent's in D levels of dead anyway, so he can't buy any additional dynamite to be yeah. threatening. He's got to find a way to keep Cubit in D dead. Because like that's his only shot. If Cuba can use that black market, cook the know. books does make that difficult. Yep, for Just sure. Throwing it out there. <laughs> and so, this steel price, like Game Slayer went for another off world. Are you serious right now? Make steel, someone. Cubit makes steel. Cubit, why aren't you making steel right now? Oh man, wow. Yeah. I mean, I understand that if you need to repair the off world, it costs steel. But when you can't knock down the off world anyway, there he's back in sea levels of debt. Yeah, get rid of those farms, put down some steel mills. Office is now online just to make things even more difficult. Dust storm coming in to make things even more difficult. Oof, man, Cuba's got a lot of upgrades. There is really going to be doing doing good work for him. Seriously, a patent lab. Thinking oh, machines. Man, no, All right. Oh, okay, okay. I, I can see that. All right. that. That's a good move. I mean, oh, not quite fast enough. That launch does go through for Qubit. That is a lot of cash. Yeah. I guess the one thing about thinking machines, though, is we're getting pretty close to the price where the off the black market items are cost prohibitive. I mean, ten thousand for dynamite is not that bad. That's yeah, but but by the time I mean, it's just it's going to take so long to get thinking machines. We've got 50 seconds yeah. to go. So. By the time it finishes, yeah, it could be a little bit awkward. I might have preferred financial instruments myself personally. Oh, that's, that's a good point. Hey, just you I know. Mean, if, if your opponent's relying on cook the books entirely to stay out of debt, then you just go financial instruments and yeah, oh, and that interest two hundred thirty-three thousand dollars of debt. So yeah, financial instruments would be very nice. All right, Cubit still with a cash advantage. Yeah, this is a super interesting game, though. I like that this is how our finals are playing out, though, right? So, at this point, you just go for the second off-world. I, I like that move a lot. Oh, yeah, you know, for sure. The issue you have is, how do I protect my two off-worlds? But you can definitely get to a point in the game, especially in a world one, where, yeah. all right, fine. You know, you can only buy so many black market items. They're getting more and more expensive. Game Slayer is doing what he can. I love that he bought a dynamite there. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like his best defense is just driving up the price. And he's got thinking machines. Okay, now this great. whole time, oh, I like that move. We've had this engineering lab, but I think it's been sitting idle for quite a while, because I only see eight techs finished researching yeah, at this it was, point. It was idle. It was idle for a while. I think while. that's a really big problem. This game. Yeah. I mean, you just gotta double down on that. Meanwhile, look at that price of power. Yeah, the price of power is ridiculous. The price of oxygen is ridiculous. The price of food is ridiculous, and all of this is just indicative of the fact that Cubit, to me, had an opening yep. that he did not exploit with this with this engineering upgrade lab. Yeah, he's got a major debt issue now. Like, that's going to be the defining feature of this game at this point. Yeah, his debt is almost 10% of his assets right if now. I was, if, I, if I was Game Slayer, buy Cook the Books right now, get you guys off out of D-Debt, and raise that price for Cubit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's, he's got 12 seconds left, 10 seconds left for that cooldown, and he's been, he's been prioritizing the dynamite. Which, which you know I what? Like. I can get behind that. Yeah. Instead, it looks like he's just kind of paying yeah, down debt here and there to keep himself in that C rating as he needs to. He's got another dynamite saved up immediately. Did he go for financial instruments? Yes, he got yeah, it. Yeah, he got it done. I like it. I like it. I don't think he's actually gotten a tick off of it yet because it yeah, just finished just about, up. Just about but to. he will in a minute here, and it'll be interesting to see what that makes him. Should that dynamite has not grand. landed on an off. There it goes. There we go. Man, that's about the third time that one's been hit. Oh wow. 
Oh, and the goose Are block. Are serious? Just, it must have just hit right after. It right? was that right is, after. Oh, that was ridiculous. That is painful. I mean, you know, it, it's a goon squad. It'll still do work for him, but, you know. Made $9,000 off financial instruments in one interest okay. tick, almost. That's not bad at all. But in the meantime... I mean, financial paid... instruments, like, cost $9,000, but whatever. It's fine. Well, that's fine. It, in the meantime, look at that $54,000 of new debt for Game Slayer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I mean, for Cupid, sorry, I said Game Slayer. Game Slayer's got to get out of D rating, though, as well. There's really no reason for him to be in D rating. He well, they're both in stupid amounts of debt at this point. Whoa. How did Game Slayer suddenly have so much debt? He was doing better than Cubit. Well, when power costs $300. I mean, he just did. Sometimes, sometimes that's not so good for you when you're not making power. He's got to delete something and get some solar panels down. Like. Maybe those steel mills, I don't know, but or use your use your patent lab. Get cold fusion. I know, fusion. just get cold fusion. Cold, cold, cold <laughs> Actually, fusion. he's got cold fusion. So oh, he does. He just oh, picked it up, like literally yeah. just now picked it up. He got perpetual motion as well, I think, or at least he was headed that way. It looked like at one point he switched over to cold fusion, maybe. Yeah. Regardless, Cubit is out of D levels of debt now. This is dangerous. This is super dangerous. Oh, the off world doesn't cycle anymore. That's bothersome. What does that for mean? Cubit. Oh, like, it used to be that if you had two off-world launches going and one was 10 seconds and one was 30, the game would always prioritize the 10 second if you only had one off-world available. This time it didn't do that, so Game Slayer's oh. got, like, an off-world launch sitting there with three seconds left. Alright, it, it should do that. It should do that still? Okay. It's a pretty subtle coding thing to get right, but I can do that. Look at all the money. Because that was the original idea. I didn't want people to have to try to micromanage that. Yeah. Well, there goes that last goon squad. Which, in, at the end of the day, I guess did not actually do much for, uh, for Cubit. Oh man, Game Slayer's almost there. Impressive win by Game Slayer. Like, uh... Yeah, he's gonna. He's actually he's there if he just cancels his he just launches. He just cancels launches. He doesn't know it. But I mean, Cubit is so far away. I mean, oh, and Cubit's paying down this. debt, so it's just safer to to hold on for the moment. Yeah. Like he's not in any threat right now, so you can just be patient with it. Yeah. This was a great game. This was really interesting how this one played out. These reactors. This water actually. Oh my gosh, that water. But look price. how much money these reactors are losing per second for Cubit. Yeah. I knew That's water insane. was gonna be a big deal this game. Oh, GG. Probably a mistake on Cubit's part is he only upgraded water production once. He should have just maxed that out. Because you could tell water was gonna be a big issue this game. Yeah, I agree. I th well, I mean, Cubit, I think in general, just made a massive mistake in handling his technology that game. He did end up with 11 eventually, but. Yeah. He got a bunch. I'm actually surprised that he didn't get the win with that upgrade lab because. I mean, that's a pretty big advantage over Game Slayer. Um, but, uh, and it was kind of amazing that it seemed like Game Slayer was the one who was really hitting Cubit much more on, you know, he was, Cubit was the one having a hard time keeping his off-road market up. Um, and I guess that basically just came down to debt. You know? Yeah, I think a big Cubit part of that was debt. It was also very painful for Cubit that five labs ended up coming down this game. That's not yeah. what he wanted to see. Yeah, yeah. Well, so what? how did that debt happen? He founded... He found it. He found first, it first, first right. with so a significant get, amount. A significant amount of debt, and then he did that thing where he separated his reactors, and then they got frozen, and I think that pushed him even deeper into debt. And then he just never quite was able to turn it around. And then I guess the question is: the question is, how did Cook the Books play out? Who was able? Did one player get a big advantage in that category? Well, Cubit bought Cook the Books three times, and he still <laughs> couldn't get out of debt. So, yeah, Game Slayer sure. only one Cook the Books purchase that game. Yeah. Well. Be careful with that. With well, folks. it turns out when the game goes that long, it's better to just not have debt than to use Coke the books all the time. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly how interest ticks played out, but yeah. Actually, pretty similarly, only 20,000 more interest charges for Game Slayer. I mean, almost 200,000 in interest charges for our players here today, but you know. Yeah, yeah 30,000 starting debt for Cubit. Oh, that's the problem. He missed his 32. Th no, he got 32,000. Never mind. 32,000 starting debt, because you got to add that 2,000. Interestingly, Game Slayer auto-purchased more, a lot more than uh, Cubit did. 80,000 more. Um, so, he must have just paid off debt manually, I guess. 
I think he did a significant amount of the time he was paying off debt manually. Yeah, I mean, it's it can be worthwhile. You got to stay out of that C rating. That C rating is just basically a D rating waiting to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think he maybe managed that better than than Cubit. I don't know. Maybe he can tell us in chat. Uh, yeah, yeah. Carbon scrubbing was great. I mean, I. I long term carbon scrubbing moment. worked out pretty well because the game lasted so long you know yeah, just, well you could tell you could tell it was gonna last a while you could tell it was gonna last a while games and, don't usually last quite that long well they're doing that. i mean i think i think giving two stocks is working i think i think it is very helpful yeah it makes yeah. a really big difference it definitely changes the, the, the pace of the game i mean the games we've seen today have actually been really interesting and balanced and i, I really like I kind of wish that it was that we had this balance for the whole tournament. So I think I think the game is in a, is in a little bit better shape now than it was when we started. I agree, um, but this is why this is why we did this tournament. So hopefully the players can agree. But, but I feel like these final games, especially the last two games, have been really great. Um, wow! All right, so I agree with you, Soren. So that's that's what matters, obviously. <laughs> okay, so that's two one games player. Is that right? Uh, that is correct. Okay, and so we're going to move on to game number four. 